Well, it's a huge problem, not only in the Bay Area, but nationwide. Pocket dialing, or people accidentally calling 911. It ties up emergency phone lines, and as our Eric Waxler shows us, it has police chasing after trouble that does not exist. Perfect, and then I need a you are listening to one of thousands of calls to 911 that is not an emergency. And also, I need a chicken nugget on Disney for a boy. A Pasco County woman accidentally called 911 while in a Burger King drive through But these sort of butt dials happen all the time. In an average shift, probably 10, maybe 20% of my calls are unverified 911s. Deputy James Parsons says most people have no idea they've even dialed 911, but every call still needs to be taken seriously. I do remember one particular case where there was a, it came in as an unverified, and come to find out a uh, person had deceased, and it was a child who actually called us. A lot of times when deputies trace those phantom 911 calls, they don't end up in front of a house or a business. They end up in front of one of these, a cell phone tower. Is it frustrating? It can be frustrating, yes, especially when we have a, a stacked call screen with other calls we need to get to. 911 dispatchers like Joel Wilson have to stay on the line until the call drops off. Then he tries to get in touch with whoever called. They're like, oh, this, I'm having problems with my phone. I keep doing that, keep hitting the emergency button. There are rare occasions when a butt dial is actually helpful to police. Hello, 911. I want one pill up. Okay. Operators in Volusia County heard Matthew Dollarhide in the middle of a drug deal, and it led to his arrest. But most of the time, hello, sir, it's a waste of time. Oh, yeah, I literally, did, I literally did that. So the message is: be more careful with your phones and who you're calling. In Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.